the question is whether 0 is anywhere between A and C. Look at statement 1. This would be true for a case such as 0 lying here or 0 lying here. In this case, the answer would be yes. In this case, the answer would be no. So, not sufficient. Look at statement 2 now. Let's draw it again. We have A, B and C. This distance CA is greater than distance between C and minus B. One case is, let us say 0 lies somewhere here and minus B will be somewhere here. B is negative in this case. Minus B is something positive and it lies here. In this case, the answer is yes. 0 is between A and C. The other case can be that 0 is here and therefore minus B is somewhere here and you see CA is greater than C minus B and 0 is on the right of C. It's not between A and C. If you want to assume values, for this case the values can be we have A, C, B, let us say this is minus 10, this is minus 2, this is minus 1. C minus B would be positive 2, which would be only 3 units away. And AC is 9 units. So, statement 2 also can lead to yes as well as no. So, not sufficient. Now, let's combine and see. So, in this case, we just took 0 would be somewhere here. This satisfies the first condition that A from 0 is farther than C from 0. And this is leading to no as an answer. And here, the first case that we took, this one where 0 was here, let's assume values once again. We have A, B, C, 0 is somewhere here. First condition is met, A is farther from 0 than C is. And second condition, C A is greater than C and minus B. See, in this case, 0 lies between A and C. Yes is possible. So, even on combining both the conditions are met. In this case, we got no. This case is meeting both the conditions leading to no. This case is meeting both the conditions leading to a yes. So, even on combining yes and no, both are possible. So, even combining does not work. E is the right answer choice.